Hi everyone. The next scenario we've got to play here is Undimensioned and Unseen. First, we'll take a look at our upgrades. Rex Murphy, uh, four experience to spend, well, five, but we just spent four on two copies of an upgraded I've Got a Plan. Um, just to sort of shore up the enemy. I mean, Rex can do everything at this point, right? He's so fast with getting clues. Um, it might as well help out with the enemy management a little bit. And the upgrade I've got a plan is one resource cheaper and gives you a plus two boost to your skill. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's just going to make things a little easier uh, for Zoe, who, you know, <laughs> uh, it's kind of weird to say that the Seeker should take over the enemy management, but um, this gives Zoe maybe some ways to deal with the extra enemies that pop up in this scenario in particular. Uh, all we did was spend four experience points on this physical training. Level four version from the Nathaniel Cho starter pack is really, really good. Um, I got rid of one copy of Guts because essentially this is uh, two, this is Guts or Overpower every single turn. Um, really good for Zoe because those are the two numbers that she can actually do something with. So. Maybe in conjunction with the Zebulon Watley, uh, those willpower tests will not be so difficult in this scenario. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do opening hands and see what happens. Okay. Would love to see, I mean, Safeguard was just outstanding in that last scenario. Uh, we've got a gun, we've got Zoe's Cross. I mean, these are not bad cards, but I think actually I'd rather find my allies or experience point cards at this point in the game. Okay, uh, we did get the physical training. Hopefully we can play it and not lose it. We do have a gun. We do have Dr. Henry Armitage, who is going to be kind of our, our economy right now, since we have no other way of getting resources. That's all right. It's not, not that bad. Okay, Rex over here. We're looking for Dr. Milan, probably. Let's just get rid of this right away. Um, this is a bad opening hand. We are looking for assets. Always try to find assets on your first turn. Now that's too many Dr. Milans. Um, sure. Okay, we're going to struggle a little bit with economy, but that's just the way things go. On to scenario setup. Okay, reminder that Zoe has physical trauma as well. Rex is lead investigator. Okay, story, story, story. Investigators must decide, should we calm down the townsfolk or try to warn them? I don't know, let's calm them down. We calm the townsfolk, cool. Gather all these cards. Ooh, striking fear is tough. Whippoorwills. Okay. So, now we do the thing with the random locations. I think the setup button should be okay. And then we're going to put one copy of Brood of Yog Sothoth into play at Cold Spring Glen, one copy at the Blasted Heath. So already two of these guys in play. Mm. Then we get a random weakness. Hang on. Okay, let's do one thing at a time. Set up. All right. Get rid of these location markers. All right, then put one at Cold Spring Glen. That is this one down here. And then one at uh, Blasted Heath. That's this one up here. All right, these guys are tough. So they are massive. They have three health, uh, six fight, three vape cannot be damaged or attacked except using the ability on the esoteric formula which we do not have yet and they hit like a truck 
Okay, back to our extra weaknesses. All right, Rex Murphy gets paranoia, lose all your resources, so he gets chronophobia. We already have that one. Um, let's get a different one. Internal injury, sure. Internal injury, internal injury here. And paranoia, lose all your money. Those are not easy to deal with, but that's okay. And continue. Okay, we'll shuffle everything together and I think we're good here. So we can go ahead and Start playing the game. We start in Dunwich Village, I believe. Just make sure that's true. Yeah, Dunwich Village. Let's go ahead and reveal that location and take a look. Hide from the creatures. You can place one of your clues on an abomination enemy in play. Okay, that is a good thing, but all right, so the way that these guys move is, no, hang on, let's move these down here. Um, the way that these guys move is at the end of the enemy phase, they move towards a random location. So they won't hit you, they don't have Hunter exactly uh, until the following location. Because at the end of the enemy phase is after the enemies get to attack. So we need four clues and we have to go spend them over at the Watley Ruins. That's over here. All right, um, what's the plan? The plan is to avoid trying those weaknesses. Our tokens, uh, Skulls are minus two, and we have the Cultist token, uh, which could be some extra horror. Hmm. All right, well, I think we set up this way. We have five to three on an investigation. I think we just run that. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we do that, maybe Zoe goes first. I don't think it matters. I don't think we're leaving this location. Well, Yeah, I need one more resource, huh? <sighs> we don't know which way they're going, so we're gonna take a chance. We're gonna take a chance. Okay, Dr. Milan, action one. Action two, investigate, up two. Sure. Investigate again, up two. Reveal another token. All right. All right, we're gonna put up this physical training. I don't know if I really want the weapon. So I think we're gonna do Henry Armitage for another two resources. And then, draw a card. Ugh. I want this card, but I want the money more. Okay. Okay. Let's move the broods. Okay. Orange brood goes once towards this location. So they have to go the shortest route. So hello. And then this guy moves here. Hmm. This will be a little tricky. And now we go to upkeep. Uh, player order, inquiring mind. So we're gonna be doing an evade here. And then I think we keep the B cup. Okay. Let's make sure the counter deck is shuffled. One doom, Rex. 
each brood of yog sothoth moves once towards you. Okay, this guy moves here. Mm, no, let's move him down here. That surges into Okay, we'll take the two whore. Frozen in Fear, a classic. Okay, so these guys can be <laughs> can be evaded. Let's give it a shot. Rex goes first and evades at six to three. That is good. Now, do they move if they're, yeah, they move even if they've been evaded. All right, let's try to get that stupid clue. Five to three, that's good. And now we gotta get out of here. Evading is gonna be a little tricky, honestly, like, uh, Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, man, okay. I think safeguard will be helpful. Two resources, and then we're going to move for two actions. And we'll do our frozen fear test. We're gonna spend both of these physical training resources, so that puts us at six to three. All right, three auto fails. <laughs> uh, all right, end of the enemy phase. Since we're not engaged with any of them, we're gonna move the broods. Can I move this thing a little closer? Oh boy. You're now here, this guy doesn't move. I don't like that. Okay. We move on to upkeep. Painkillers. And guts. I'll keep it. Rotting remains. Um, we're gonna commit the guts. Five to three. That's a minus two. So we succeed. So he draws a card. Another B cup. Um, you're gonna be money. Okay. All right. Zoe, two to three. All right, the bag is just out for blood today. Uh, so I take a horror and then three damage. Rex, three to three. Um, we're gonna go five to three. Minus two is good. Wow. All right. Well, we have the same dance here. We need to evade this guy and probably move. Okay, we're up by three. That's good. We've, <laughs> we've now used our inquiring minds. Oh boy. Somehow we have to, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, uh, five to three on the investigate. We're gonna commit this copy of Dr. Milan to make it six to three, plus one. Hopefully we draw our um, hyper awareness soon. Action three is move to this location. Zoe's gonna move as well. Minus one willpower. Okay. 
is always going to play the speed cup for action one. Um, man, we're going to draw a card. Another weapon. And then... Ugh. I suppose we gain a resource. And we're going to test this version up here. We have uh, three to three. We're going to spend these to go five to three. And... Uh, wait, wait. Yeah, five to three. No! No! All right. That was a little bit of miscalculation. I think I could have spent that extra resource. Anyway, enemy phase. All right, this buddy goes here, and this one continues to stay in the exact same spot. Okay, we are free for, for one turn at least. Emergency cash, I guess I can just dump it for, you know, three resources. Okay, if we get a different enemy, I think that will be good. Three of five. <laughs> Another rotting remains. Um, we just take it three to three. Minus one is fine. We'll take one whore. Surge. Um... Yeah, this is kind of bad because the agenda, well, I don't know. Maybe it's not bad. All right, we need to get these clues, like all of them. We just need to. I'm kidding. All right, action one, put down the lockpicks. Action two, use lockpicks. We have eight to two. I'm thinking a lot of words right now. I'm not going to say any of them. All right. You know, I'm so tempted to just automatically fail this and draw three cards. I'm not going to do that because that's so that's tempting fate way too much. So we'll take our two clues and one resource. Let's let's get going. <laughs> oh no. Okay. We get one set aside esoteric formula. Cool. That will let us deal with these friggin' prudes of Yogg's of thought, honestly. Okay, let's read these things. Alright, they have our spells. They let you fight, use willpower instead of combat. And you get plus two for each clue on the attacked enemy. Use only on abominations. All right. Um, the problem with this is it only does one damage. And six is tough. All right. That was my three actions. So over to Zoe. Well, we don't really want to be here, but I don't want to leave Rex here either. So we're just going to draw a card. We're going to probably play this card. Uh, okay. And draw another card. All right, we're just gonna sit here and sort of take it. All right, five to three. I refuse to spend any, no, I'm gonna spend more resources. I'm gonna spend two more resources. Uh, yeah, minus two. Okay, I didn't have to spend any resources. Garbage. Move broods. Yeah, of course they're both coming here. Why would they not do that? Sure, okay, we're about to die. We might just make a break for it and resign. 
we will take a horror for ending the round here. Uh, like that. And then upkeep, another lock pick, so it's just going to taunt me. Mauser. Four or five. Sure. Take a damage. Um, okay. Plus one fight and plus one health. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. This is uh, not going well. This again. Oh boy. Okay, what are my options? So, we can't be here. I think that's just too tough. Zoe could maybe take out one of them. Can we get to eight? No. <laughs> I got four. Uh, and we got to get the clues, but these guys are massive and make attacks opportunity. I don't know. Maybe we just tank a bunch of damage right now. Uh, hmm. We could get lucky on an evade. We can go three to three. I really wish I had hyper awareness out here. Uh, that is four tokens out of the 16 or whatever. So one in four shot. That's not good. If I were to just take the damage, that would be four damage. One, two, three, four. I could move up here. Or horror. Man, not long for this world. Okay. Let's try one of eight at three to three. Okay. Let's get out of here. Rex, unfortunately, you are the one to take all the damage. Mm hmm So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. God, that is awful. <laughs> we might be resigning very soon. Okay. I'd like to get one of them dead. Um, investigate at five to one. Minus two is three, so we do get both clues. That gives us a little bit of a chance. Oh, you know what I forgot about? Oh, they have to be exhausted. That has to be after they attack, which hasn't happened yet. So how many characters survived? All of them, right? Uh, one, two, three, five. There should be five clues here. Hasn't mattered yet because we've not had them. Oh, I could have put one on at the beginning when I evaded them. Sure. I don't think it changes anything in this particular uh, case, but I would have put one on the guy that I kept evading. But I'm not going to go in and kill him yet. Okay, hope you grant me that. I totally forgot about this card. Okay. That is all of the actions. Okay, we're gonna get some money and then we're gonna test this liquid courage at four. Uh, no, Rex tests it, right? 
Rex tests three to two. I think that's okay. It was okay. That's pretty good. Mm, and now we'll put down one of these weapons. One, two, three, four. All right. Am I feeling better? Not really. Okay, move broods. Okay, they're both gonna run away from us this time. The big guy moves. Um, let's put him down here. No, he moves here. Yeah, that's fine, they'll, they'll both be there. Upkeep. Okay, card draws, good. Five of five. These go away, I believe. Okay, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck and give me a random location for a brood. Okay, a random location thingy. The ruins. Okay, back here. Six. Altered beast. Man, there's just one. We're gonna put it on this guy that we we just never want to deal with him, if we can help it. All right. So one thing we could try to do, no, I don't want to go back here. I never want to go back in that, that location. All right, Rex, move here, bring Zoe. Oh. Don't do that either. Okay. Let's try to get these clues and then we'll move. Uh, five to three? Yeah. Minus three. Man, this is rough. Okay, we gotta move again. Bad turn. Zoe would love to kill anything but these brutes. I mean, we can go in and try to kill this one, but not until this guy goes somewhere else. So... Hmm. Okay. If we put one of Rex's clues here, then if I use this, and get plus two for each clue. So right now as it is, it's plus four, which is eight. I guess we need one more, eh, I can spend money. We'll put, we'll put one of Rex's clues on this guy. All right, Zoe, move here. Man, I just feel useless. Okay, let's heal another horror. Rex, go three to one. Cool, okay. And draw a card. Okay. Let's see where these guys go. Okay, orange guy has to move here. Blue guy, oh, they both go down. I don't want that. Blue guy moves here, and so does that one. Okay, maybe we go after this one. Yikes. 
internal injury. More soak. Hmm. I don't like this scenario. Whippoorwill. Cool, I can deal with that. Okay, play, shoot a bird, and get rid of this. We're going to try to go back up the other way. Don't want to end my turn here, though. Well, maybe I do. Okay, um, painkillers. Move. We'll take a horror. And then five to three. I don't think I'm playing you. Seven to three. Okay. Two clues and a money. Take a damage. And move the bruise. All right, orange guy goes down this way, runs away. Um, one, two, yep, yeah, has to go this way. Green, uh, hang on, this guy goes here as well. Green goes towards green, and the big guy goes this way. All right, upkeep, I might play you. I don't need you. So give me some money instead. And two of six. That's kind of bad. And by kind of, I mean really bad. Uh, who cares? Give me a random location. So much village. Okay. Well, this is a cluster. Okay. Uh, we have to take a horror. I don't think this has happened yet. One horror, one horror. Oh, maybe I just try to kill him. This is very bad. Okay. He's got plus one fight and plus one health. And I have no way to put clues on him, right? Not here. We also have nowhere to run. Zoe, can you take tank uh, two and two? No. Well, I mean, sort of. We might resign. So I'd have to make four tests of 
currently six to four to six. Evade, evade, evade. I can get rid of Earl. I would love to play Earl though. Hmm. All right, we're gonna play Earl. We take one damage, one horror, and another one onto Dr. Milan. We play Earl. We now have four. To three. We now have five to three. Let's go. All right, that is actually pretty good. Okay, you are evaded. Actually, three, three to three, or four to three. Okay, we're good. We did pass. I just have to kill this guy before I do anything else. Kill, kill the whippoorwill. Okay. I can draw a card. Perception. Um, we're going to heal a damage and put the horror here. All right. And then move one clue. Can I keep doing this? I can. Why not? We need to get rid of this guy, probably. Um, so that puts uh, eight, eight to seven. Yeah, let's just dump all the clues. Okay, so it's plus six. So now you can go at nine. Nine to seven for one damage. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> nice. One of four, huh? Okay, Zoe. We have a lot of money. So we're just gonna try to take three actions and hope we don't hit the autofail. One, uh, okay, so four plus six is 10, 11. I just spent one. 11 to seven. Good. Eleven to seven. Good. Eleven to seven. Minus four. Yep. This guy is dead. <sighs> Unbelievably hard. Uh, we have to take a damage. Okay, <laughs> defeat as many as you can. The answer was one, <laughs> maybe not, maybe we'll do better, but maybe the answer was one. Move the final three, all right, bye. Uh, green stays, this one comes towards us, we actually like that. At least I think we like it. Upkeep. This is good. Three of six. Okay, something else to kill. Location for this from you. What would that be? Probably here. Or here, 
Let's go with that one. All right, I'm okay with that. I think Zoe goes first. We have plus four, so we've got eight to six. We now have 10 to six. There's one, we have 10 to six. There's two, we have 10 to six. All right, so that's two. Rex, uh, okay, so he gets a damage. Rex goes at uh, seven to six. Nine to six. Yikes. Nine to six. Hey, there we go. This guy's gone. And now we move here for action two. <laughs> and we resign. We might resign. Two is not bad. Um, I probably can take out one more. But I don't know about that. So we can draw some cards. That will probably get me my paranoia. Let's go ahead and put the magnifying glass out. Let's do it. Draw three. One, two, three. Another guts is good. All right, enemy phase. Hello. And then we move the brutes. They both come towards us. So here's one, and here's the other. Resigning doesn't seem like a bad idea. Get rid of this and upkeep. That does nothing. <laughs> Oh, that's a good, very good draw on turn one. Uh, that's for Zoe, or sorry, for, for Rex, and Rotting Remains. We're going to go at, hmm, three to three. Okay, can we get one more of these guys? And then resign. We do just one and one. I think we kill the beat cop to get rid of the whippoorwill. And now let's think about this. We have no clues. We already did this. We have no clues to put out. Hmm. Uh, so I'd like to get to eight. I have four, six, seven, eight. I don't think you can help over here. Well, maybe. I'm just trying to think if this is a good idea to resign or try to get one more of these guys. I think we're going to try to evade. We're going to go at six to three. Cool. That helps things out a little bit. We're going to put down this hyper awareness for action two. Huh. I 
I needed to have drawn a card. Rex's Curse. I don't think we've seen this in the entire campaign. So if you would succeed a skill test, return it to the bag, reveal a new chaos token. Uh, if this effect causes you to fail, then you shelf back in your deck. So it just sticks out here forever. Um, <laughs> three <laughs> to six. I don't really know what else to do. If I draw a card, I'm gonna draw the uh, paranoia, but that's okay. Shortcut. Now there's an interesting idea. I can shortcut Zoe into this location. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just spend the resource to do one damage. And now we get to take our turn. Uh, I have four. I wish I could put the guard dog down. I'm not going to though. Uh, I have four, five, six, seven, eight. Sweet. Dog down. Other dog into play. Um, do I stay here? Do I go back? I think I draw a card. All right. We're good here. Let's move the broods. They don't really do much. So this guy has to go this way. Hmm. Upkeep. Nope. This game's surge. All right. That might be okay. We might end up resigning because of this. <laughs> okay, this is a difficulty six. Uh, we're gonna go three to six. Cool, I take two horror. Uh, one, two. Oh. Oh no. Minus two. All right, two horror it is. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. Can we kill one of them? I think what we do is we try to evade, evade, and then possibly resign. Okay, let's do it. Let's put all the money into the tests. I have four, I have six, I have seven to three. Cool, one down. Uh, yep, let's do the other one. I have four, five, six, seven. Oh crap, I was supposed to reveal a new token. Uh, still good. Okay, so this time, uh, seven to, to three. Okay, reveal a new token. Still good. Um, I think Rex is going to resign. I don't think there's anything I can do to help. The evasion's good, but maybe I can take out one of those guys. Oh, but then they, they go away, huh? Man. Okay. Can I do one damage? 
six. So I can go five. No, I can't do it. Oh, wait, maybe I can. So there's, I've got five, six, seven, eight. I can go eight to six, but then I can't resign. No, 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 it is better. It is better for, uh, I think. Yeah, we're gonna resign here. I think that's just the better thing to do. Okay, Zoe can move in and try to do two damage here. So we've got six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is amazing. That is two damage. And now we go again. One, two, I can only spend three resources, huh? Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine to six. Willpower icons? Willpower, willpower? No, no. Good enough. This guy's gone. Okay. Move a brood. Bye. Upkeep. Um, I will just take three resources instead. And then we go to six. Okay. So we spawn the last one here, and then we test four, and then we'll just take the attack. All right, two horror, two damage, one, two, three, four. Okay. Each abomination enemy gets plus one fight, plus one evade. I hope that wasn't the case here. Nope. Okay. And we take an encounter card. Wait, hang on. We take an encounter card. Okay, each one moves here. Fine. We resign, and we will be very happy to uh, to resign. This is a good location to camp out on. Uh, we actually got three of them, so I'm pretty thrilled, especially how bad it was at the beginning. Okay, again, sort of a, a tip for this scenario and many others. Hyper Awareness is a, a very good card if you have the resource engine that Rex does. And this physical training kind of crucial here. If you don't have a mystic on your team or very many of the willpower uh, skill icons around, I, it was just too hard to put the clues on anything. I think it's possible, but I mean, take a look at these locations. You needed to, to be here with the brood at the same location. You can only do this once. Um, nothing here this is actually a horrible location to be and we didn't do this but you have to do it on the round that you use it that sucks we never went here mm, you know that's not great either so this is a really tough scenario getting three of the five is actually an incredible outcome so i'm, I'm super happy about that we almost died pretty early. Maybe I made a real mistake somewhere, who knows? But I think we just sort of scrapped on by. So at the, in the last 
three to four scenarios of a campaign, do not underestimate cards like this one that lets you uh, let you funnel resources into um, into skill boosts. Now, yeah, Dr. Henry Armitage helps out a lot, but um, getting up to 10 in a skill that you're not really trying to use in the campaign is hard to do. So these kinds of cards that let you use two different um, skills, and I mean, I, I knew going into this scenario that this would be a good card. Uh, you just have to have some way of doing it. Okay, cool. Back to the app. Okay, we did... Uh, we resigned. R1 or R2, what are those? I guess if you get all of them, or if you die. Yeah. Okay. We resigned. Okay, no more Ibn Ghazi, fine. And we add one, two, three victory points. Kind of a sad tally for all that work that we did, but that's done much for you. All right. Thankfully, we did not get paranoia. I hope I didn't miss any anything in play here, I mean, I think we were okay with this one. We never went back there. I guess that, that would have left right now, but that's sort of that one. Uh, that's okay. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm glad to be done with that scenario because it is a little bit rough. Uh, we proceed to scenario number six, where Doom awaits, and that'll be the next one. I'll see you there.